Okay, so here we have the MCW looking very beautiful. Hello? So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino Quaji and welcome to another big baller video on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, Warzone, and zombies. In today's video, we're going to be covering the first major store bundle to hit Modern Warfare 3, and that's going to be the Godzilla and King Kong collaborative bundle with uh, Call of Duty, and that's going to be the Shimo Tracer Pack Operator Bundle. This is coming at 2400 COD points, and we've seen the Kong Bundle before, and that was definitely amazing for the finishing move. But here we got the Operator of Shimo, who's part of the new movie. Let me know if you guys have seen it yet and what you guys think about it. And it comes that Operator, a MCW, and a Striker 9 with amazing tracers. And there might be another finisher move as well. And it says a blueprint with a custom inspect. So this might be a Mastercraft as well. But if you guys are excited to see everything in this bundle, see how the tracers look like, see anything secretive that you got to know about this bundle, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I upload store bundle videos that interest me, like tracer packs, reactives, mastercrafts, or anything that really intrigues me, like pro packs or whatever the case is. And I also upload high kill warzone gameplays from time to time as well. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out this bundle in full. The world is yours to destroy with this reptilian operator skin. And here we got Shimo looking like an absolute freaking legend. Uh, it's an operator skin for Byline. It's already had a bunch of good uh, skins, but he legit looks freaking epic, bruh. Uh, let me know what the character of Shimo represents. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know anything about Shimo. Is this like a, like a Godzilla variant or something? But whatever the case is, looks really freaking badass. Super dope operator skin. Next up, we got the MCW Glacial Cold, which comes with some icy tracers. And here we have the MCW, and that is how the effect is going to look like. It reminds me a lot of the STG Godzilla blueprint we got in Vanguard, so that's a good thing. It looks really epic. We also got the Frostbite Striker 9, which doesn't look as crazy, but it's still pretty icy. Let me I almost forgot to check out the attachments here. Uh, no ammunition tracers, so you can't put these tracers on any other weapon in the game. Uh, but it's all good because I kind of just wanted the tracers for this gun. And here's how the Striker 9 tracers look like. Pretty much very similar and looks pretty incredible in my eyes. So Striker 9 is looking like a W. And here are the, uh, the attachments. No ammunition tracers once again. So you'll only have this for the Striker 9. Uh, when it comes to the equipment skin, we got the Flash Freeze for the Flash, which is kind of funny. But we'll check that out in game. We also got the Frostbite Finish finishing move. So it's probably going to be very epic like a Godzilla or the King Kong one. We got the Precursor Decal, the Sub-Zero Destruction Loading Screen, which is kind of simple, but kind of cool at the same time. And we got the Ancient Ice Weapon Charm. And this is all for 2400 COD points. And keep in mind, when you, you, when you collect all four of the Godzilla bundles, you can end up getting this Beast Glove Melee skin, which is pretty interesting. But let's go ahead and purchase this. I'm gonna go ahead and check out and see if this is worth it for you guys. So far, it's looking like yes, because it comes with a finishing move to some two icy guns. And uh, the skin, the operator skin looks pretty epic, so probably it's gonna be worth it. Anyways, let's check out this bundle in full. So here we got our icy looking Shimo looking absolutely fire, uh, you know, in the lobby menu here. And let's go ahead and look at the guns. We got the MCW Glacial Cold and the Frostbite Striker 9. Uh, starting things off with the MCW Glacial Cold, keep in mind if you want to keep the icy tracers, uh, just don't change any of the ammunition. Like if you change, if you add an ammunition, then you're going to lose the tracers, but you can change anything else of the class setup. So just keep that in mind. Going over to the camos, here's how the gun looks like with Gilded. It looks really nice with the ice, you know, kind of, you know, looking like that. Here's how Forge looks like, looking pretty gnarly. Priceless goes well with the icy theme. And here's Interstellar, also looking incredible in my opinion. Moving onwards, we got Golden Enigma looking pretty sweet. We got Zircon Scale also looking pretty nice. Uh, Serpentinite looking very amazing with the base of the camo. And Borealis kind of making sense with the icy theme as well because Borealis is usually like in the Arctic or whatever. Bro, this gun looks incredible with the camels. Did you guys see how it looked like with the Boston Breach? 
This is amazing. I love this. Now moving over to the Frostbite Striker 9, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. If you want to keep the tracers, just don't add an ammunition and you'll be good to go. So the same as usual. Uh, when it comes to the camels here, here we got Gilda looking pretty sweet. Here we got Forged also look looking pretty nice. Prices, of course, this is incredible. And Interstellar as well. Not a crazy combination of uh, camos and blueprint colors. It's very, just the MCW with those icicles that it has, it looks a lot better. But uh, you might see something nice with these zombie camos as well. It's not as crazy as the MCW, but my, you might see some cool combinations in there. Just not as crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the MCW Glacial Cold. And here are the meta attachments for multiplayer for the MCW Glacial Cold. So as you can see, you're gonna lose some of the IC effect. One thing I will note though, that if you wanted to, you can take off the rear grip and put on the Regal stock, which is part of the blueprint look of the gun. And that way you're gonna have a little bit more of the IC look, but overall, you might put a camel and it'll still look pretty sweet. Plus you'll still have the tracers. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the Striker 9 Frostbite. And here's the meta class setup for the Striker 9 Frostbite. So you really don't lose much. You're just gonna put a camo and you know, take care of anything that needs to be taken care of and you'll still have that icy look. So not too bad. Almost forgot, uh, the grenade uh, variant is actually a stun grenade variant. Even though it's called flash freeze, it's for the stun grenade, so we're also gonna check that out as well. But it's not for the flash grenade, which I thought was uh, very interesting. So keep in mind, it is a stun grenade variant. And in case you guys are wondering, uh, byline slash Shimo is here on the left side. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and put on that finishing move of Frostbite Finish, which we're gonna see in game. But uh, yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and head into game and see everything that we gotta see with this bundle. Okay, so here we have the MCW looking very beautiful. Hello? Okay, okay, that's not too shabby. This is basically a Mastercraft in a sense. It's got its own custom inspect. So, pretty cool. Nothing too wild, but I think that's really dope. I can't lie. And here we have the Striker 9, which is just a regular uh, inspect. In case you guys are wondering if these guns like glow up or anything in the dark, it doesn't seem like they do too much, but the crystals on the MCW seem to glow up pretty decently well. And nothing on the Striker 9 is kind of crazy. And of course, they got the, uh, the beautiful tracers looking pretty well on these guns. So yeah, they sound really amazing too. You can hear like the uh, the sound of the Godzilla or whatever it's supposed to be. And really quickly, I wanted to see how the iron sights look like. So here's the iron sight of the MCW, and here's the iron sight of the Striker 9, just in case you guys are curious. But yeah, let's go ahead and see these tracers and see how they uh, appear here in game. And there you go. Very icy, very clean. And here it is for the Striker 9. And no matter where you kill them from the body, they will ice up and actually leave uh, iced up parts of their bodies after they die, which is kind of crazy. And in case you guys are wondering how you're going to look like in Game of Shimo, this is how you're going to look. Looks pretty freaking gnarly, especially with the, the spikes on your back, which I think look pretty dope. And now let's see what this finisher is all about. Bro, we iced him up and then we kicked him in the leg, bro. That's pretty insane. I think I still prefer the King Kong one, but the fact that we freaking breathe ice out of our mouth is pretty wild. Let's see how the finisher looks like when they're laying down. Bro, that is so freaking badass. I love that. You just freeze them the heck up. And now let's see what happens when they're downed. So yeah, nothing too different. You just ice them up and they die, which I think is pretty cool. Before we switch to third person view, I wanted to see if with my meta class setup for multiplayer, if the inspect still applies. Let's see if the inspect still works. Let's find out. Yeah, so even if you change up the class setup, 
uh, you will still keep the uh, the inspect, which is really cool. So, and I almost forgot once again. Here is the uh, the stun grenade, and here's how it looks like. Doesn't seem like there's anything special about the stun grenade. That's kind of doo doo butter. Yeah. With all that being said, let's go to third person mode. And here we have our dude or our girl Shimo looking amazing uh, in third person mode. As you can see. You can see your your ice cape a little bit easier, and uh, you legit look really freaking dope. Only thing that sucks is that you can't obviously see your glowing eyes, but uh, overall, I mean, this is pretty dope. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bundle. I think it's a W bundle. Comes with the MCW and Striker Nine. Striker Nine being pretty meta in Warzone, and the MCW being a menace in multiplayer, and uh, I definitely think this is worth the cop. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys are excited for the other Godzilla bundles. Are you gonna be buying this one? And uh, I'm glad they're finally turning up with the bundles. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I'll cover the other, you know, bundles when they drop. And I'll try to show off the little melee hand when I can. Uh, because I think all these bundles are going to be pretty fire. And once again, let me know what you guys think about the movie. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. And keep being big ballers. I love you all.